In this video, I'm going to show you how to configure the TypeScript language server to work with NeoVim from scratch. Now, surprisingly, although LSPs appear difficult at first glance, you really only need a couple of packages to get a nice, maintainable, and extensible setup for your LSPs. By the end of this video, you'll have a working TypeScript LSP setup with NeoVim and a solid base to install any other LSP you may need. This is the config I'm currently using for my day job, and trust me, if I had friends, they would totally be jealous. So let's get into it. Now, NeoVim already supports language server protocol out of the box, meaning it can act as a client for language servers. So in theory, you can install language server, hook up some key bindings and be ready to roll. However, manually installing language servers and handling the low level APIs that NeoVim implements is a chore to say the least. So we wanna use a couple of packages to help us facilitate an easier hookup of language servers to NeoVim. To start with, I currently have a pretty minimal setup for NeoVim that uses Packer and Lua files for its configuration. If you want more detail on how I set up this basic config, check out the video in the description. Now to get started, the first and most important package, to me at least, is mason.envim. Other than being the name of my bully in high school, mason is an incredible package that enables you to install and manage language servers, debuggers, and all kinds of stuff. We can easily use mason to install a TypeScript server for us to use with NeoVim. So let's go ahead and add mason to our list of packages in our packer file. But hold on, Cal boy, before we install any language servers, we want to install a package called Mason LSP config. This package gives us the extremely useful ensure installed function, which if you guessed it, will ensure that certain language servers are installed. But I'm sure you already knew that because you're smart and handsome, aren't you? But wait, there's more. We have just one more package we need to install to complete this configuration. That package is NeoVim's NVim LSP config package. Now I'm sure there's a really great explanation I can give as to what this package does, but to be concise, it basically gives you an easy way to attach LSP servers to your instance of NeoVim. I'm sure there's more to it than that, but I don't know, I don't have time to get into it. Anyways, once you have the three amigos of LSP config in your Packer file, we can install them by sourcing this file and running Packer sync. And now you can see they're all installed. Damn it, I love Packer so, so much. Now we wanna start configuring our new LSP packages. So let's create a new config file called lspconfig.lua inside of our plugin config directory. And just to get things started, let's call the setup function for Mason and the setup function for Mason LSP config while using the ever handy ensure installed attribute to make sure we have TS server installed no matter what. TS server, by the way, is the TypeScript language server, if you haven't caught on already. We then add this file to the init.lua inside of our plugin configuration and we should be off to the races. So let's reopen NeoVim and run the Mason command. You can see already how amazing Mason is. The interface is excellent and there are no shortage of language servers you can install on your system. Merely follow the key commands and install whatever you like. As you can see, I already have a few installed on my system, but if I uninstall TS server, it actually gets reinstalled automatically because we used the ensure installed attribute in our setup. So TS server gets reinstalled. Pretty cool, right? Now that we have our language server installed through Mason, let's work on actually attaching this language server to NeoVim. This is where our LSP config package comes into play. Let's open up our LSP config file again, and all we have to do is require LSP config and call setup for whatever language servers we want to set up. In our case, it's just TS server. And just one last piece of setup here, LSP config doesn't actually define any key maps for LSP interactions, but the repository does have a nice snippet that defines a lot of key maps for all basic functions. So I am just going to copy and paste the snippet into our configuration, and that should be all you need. You can see there are helpful LSP key maps like go to definition, go to type declaration, hover doc, and others. Now let's take this baby for a spin. I have a React project that uses a mix of JavaScript and TypeScript. If we open a file in the project, we can already see LSP linting at work. If we hover over a type and press leader GD, go to definition, we go to the definition of that type. And if we hover over functions or types and press leader capital K, we can see the definitions for these things in the docs. Now I have to emphasize, this is a very bare bones and basic LSP setup. You'll probably wanna add more things to your setup as you see fit, but I merely wanted to show off how easy it can be to set up just the most minimal LSP configuration for NeoVim. If you wanna see how I set up my NeoVim configuration with Packer and Lua, check out this video next. And hey, thanks nerds.